has not been carried out. Nothing is wrong with you. Wow, thank you, doctor. Your organs are good. Your whole system is in perfect shape. I don't see anything that is stopping you from having a child with your wife. Doctor, what about my semen? Your semen count is normal. Wow, it sounds good. Your wife Nora is also perfectly okay. She can conceive and give birth. So what is holding us, doctor? We have been married for the past five years and no issue, not even a miscarriage. Mr. Charles, just take it easy. Your wife will conceive very soon. And please, Mrs. Nora, take more of vitamins and also reduce stress. Nothing is wrong with the both of you. Some couples naturally have delay in conception. That doesn't mean they won't give birth. Just put everything into God's hands. And I believe before the end of this year, Nora shall conceive. Yes, who is there? The door is opened. Come in. Ah, Nelson, you are highly welcome. Mr. Charles, the great man, the only man that knows how to penetrate into the heart of any lady, whether married or single. <laughs> Naughty boy. You are welcome, Jare. How is your wife, Rose? My wife or my knife? She's fine anyway. Nelson, come on. Why would you call your wife a knife? I can even call her any other thing. More dangerous than a knife. Are you trying to say your wife, Rose, is a bad person? Charles, you are not another person to me. I can't hide it anymore. Rose is a bad wife. I know it's not good to say ill of my wife, but from the depth of my heart, Rose is a bad wife. I don't even know why they named her Rose. Maybe because she is beautiful. Nelson, calm down. Every woman on earth has a good part. She can't be bad in all things. If she's bad in character, she would be good in cooking. But if she's bad in cooking, she would be good in the other room. You know what I mean now. Nah. <laughs> Which other room are you talking about? She's not good in anything. Anyways, that's not the reason why I am here. So Nelson, husband to Rose, why are you here? Please, I need your help. I don't know if you can help me. You know I will help you for sure. So tell me, what help do you need? I need a job. I have been staying at home for the past five months, doing nothing. What? Five months? Yes, my brother. Five solid months. Um, I can't assertively give you a positive answer now. But don't worry. I will make sure I get you a job. Trust me. Choi! Choi for you, sir. The king of women. The only man that has the key to every woman's heart. Please don't let my wife hear you. Oh. Sorry, is she around? Yes, she's around. Don't worry, just go. Before this coming week ends, I will give you a call to tell you how far I have gone. Alright, Charles. Thank you so much. Greet your wife for me. Okay, I will. Nelson, where are you coming from? I went to see my friend, Charles. You must be mad, Nelson. How dare you leave the house without my permission? Did you tell me you were going to see Charles? I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. Pay me that trash. Rose, I am your husband. Even if you are angry, talk to me with respect. Husband, my foot. Did you marry me or I married you? Nelson, for crying out loud, I married you with my money, kept you under my roof, and feeding you with my food. Now tell me, between me and you, who should be called husband? It's alright, Rose. I'm very sorry for not telling you before going out. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again. Now you are behaving like a human being. You wouldn't have received insult from me if you had apologized. Anyway, I'm sorry for using such words, but what I told you is fact. Thank you, ma. You are welcome. So what's your reason for visiting Charles? Um, Rose, my wife. You know I have been staying at home for the past five months. So I went to see if Charles would help me secure a job in his company. Secure what nonsense job? Listen to me, Nelson. The both of us can't be working. For crying out loud, you don't need to work. But answer me. When you start working, who will be cooking food in this house? Who will be washing my clothes? Who will be cleaning the house? Or do you expect me to come back from work and start doing all those things? Rose, enough of your insults. That I do those things does not mean it's my duty. Please, I am not a slave. I am your husband. A husband that I married with my money. A husband that cannot provide food for himself. 
a husband that can't even rent one room apartment. Do you still have mouth to call yourself a husband? Thank you very much, Rose. I really appreciate. Hold it there. Don't thank me. Go to the kitchen and prepare my night food before I get angry with you. It's alright, Rose. I will prepare the meal. Look at him, husband material. The doctor said nothing is wrong with us. My question is this. Why haven't I conceived for the past five years? I don't just understand. This thing is really giving me concern. Nora, I should be the one worrying about this. Please stop bothering yourself on this issue. God will give us a child at his own appointed time. Yes, I believe you. But I'm just wondering what could make a woman whose body system is in good shape not to conceive. Are you sure that doctor knows what he's saying? Don't you think it would be wise if we visit another hospital? I am not visiting any other hospital. Haven't we visited more than three hospitals? Nora, please, leave this issue of childbearing. At God's appointed time, he would give us a child. Not just a child, but children. Wow, you speak with so much faith, my love. Yes, because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Just stop worrying yourself. Our God is in total control. Wow, I love you so much, my sweetheart. I love you more, my baby. And I don't want anything to be troubling you. Just be happy. Good day, sir. Good day, my angel. Sir, I am here for the job. What's that your name again? My name is Mirabel. Oh, Mirabel. Were you the one recommended to me by Mr. Martins? Yes, sir. I am the one. Oh, you are highly welcome. Thank you, sir. So, have you submitted your CV? Yes, sir. I submitted it last two months, but I'm yet to receive a call from anyone concerning the job. Oh, I can see. You said your name is Mirabel. Yes, sir. Oh, so sorry. Your name was omitted from the list because you failed the interview. Sir, please help me in a way possible. I have been jobless for two years after my graduation. I seriously need a job. I can do anything to get this job. Please help me, sir. You mean you can do anything I ask you to do? Yes, sir. So far, it's a good thing. I will do it, sir. Okay. Turn your back. Let me see. Hey, hey Corona. Wait. You mean God gave you all this? No, this is cheating. Why would you carry all this alone? Um, I think I need to help you reduce it before I can give you the job. Meet me at Traco Hotel by 7 p.m. tomorrow and the job shall be yours. Sir, what am I coming here to do? You are coming here to play football. So at this stage of your life, you still want to remain jobless? By the way, let me ask you, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I have. What has it done for you? just to meet me at the hotel room by 7 p.m. tomorrow and you're here asking me what you'll be coming there to do no you should come there and say granite to me my friend meet me there tomorrow and you will have the job please baby my whole body is on fire i need to have a taste of your pot of soup to calm my body down i don't understand what are you trying to say baby i mean my network is on 5g and i have like 1 million gigabytes Please allow me to browse your internet. Nelson, you will never cease to amaze me. I'm giving you the very last chance to talk. What do you want, Nelson? Rose, I want you. I want to make love to you. You want to make love with me as what? As my wife. I wish I had superpowers. I would have commanded Donda to strike that your dirty mouth. So you expect me to still make love with you? After all the stress at work, you must be joking. Rose, you are my wife. Don't stab me of the food of the soul. You have not seen anything yet. This is just the beginning. Rose, we have been married for over two years and I have not for one day made love to you. The last time I tried it, you gave me a beating of my life. Rose, what have I done to you? What have I done to deserve all this? Enough of that rubbish question. This is how it will continue until you become a man. Then get ready because I will rape you. Try it and see. Hm, I swear, the day you will try that shit with me, you will spend 10 years in prison. I believe you know who my father is. Try it and see. What kind of trouble have I gotten myself into? Charles, I'm passing through hell in my house. Rose wants to kill me. I don't understand what you mean by she wants to kill you. Charles, please, can I confide in you? Yes, for sure. Nelson, 
You can confide in me. Do you know that ever since I got married to Rose, we haven't made love to each other? What? Tell that to the kids. Nobody will believe this. Charles, I'm serious. She never allowed me for one day to touch her. Talk more of making love to her. What? I hope you're not kidding me. No, I'm not. I never shared this with anyone. Rose have been starving me of sex for two years. And you're still living with her? I don't have choice. And I don't even know what to do. That's why I came to you. So what really happened? What's her problem? I mean, what's her reason for denying you her body? Rose's father is very rich. Rose and her family single-handedly sponsored our wedding. I married Rose out of pity. I was her errand boy while I was in the university. Rose was the one who paid my school fees from year one till I finished school. And why did you agree to marry her? While I was in school, I was looking for a part-time job that I could lay my hands on so I can be paying my school fees from it. Rose happens to be one of my classmates. I met her and explained my situations to her and she invited me to her father's house. From there, I became her errand boy. So what led to the marriage? Rose couldn't get a man of her own. Maybe because of her bad characters. And many guys we are afraid to approach her. So when I finished school and I was about leaving his father's house, which I have stayed all through my life in the university, Rose asked me to marry her. I thought it was a joke. To cut the long story short, I later accepted and I wish I never did. Chai, my guy, you are in a hot soup. A very hot one, my brother. My problem now is that she doesn't want me to walk and she won't allow me to make love to her. Please, Charles, help me. What can I do to win her heart? At least, let me test my machine to see if it's still working. baby my milk are honey baby la cute baby you are looking so sweet like a pineapple andy of what help do i owe to this visit calm down i invited you here for a serious business i need to put something in my stomach so before i listen to you i have to place my orders don't worry baby listen to what i have to say first before you can place your orders then start talking immediately so i can place my orders baby you know we have been together for some years now i want us to take this relationship to another level <laughs> chai this is the funniest thing i've ever heard in my entire life baby what's funny about what i just said now wait a minute so what you just said now wasn't funny to you baby this is not a joke I am very serious with what I just told you. I know you are joking. Please change topic. Come up with another thing. Baby, what I just told you is the main reason why I invited you here. If that's the reason why I'm here, then something must be wrong with you. How? I don't understand. So you invited me here to insult me. Anyways, let it not be as if I'm too rude. Let me just ask you a question. What question? Please ask. You want us to take our relationship to another level. Please. What level are you talking about? <laughs> now you are talking. This is what you should have asked. Answer the question, please. Okay, the truth of the matter is that I love you and I want us to get married. So you want me to get married to a jobless man like you? Baby, I'm not jobless. You just have to give me a little time. Very soon, things are going to turn out for good. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I am not interested. Now can I place my orders? No problem. What would you love to eat? Please get me fried rice and chicken, ice cream, yogurt, pineapple juice, and three extra chicken for takeaway. Thanks. Okay. Where is your money so I can go immediately? Which money? I am a visitor. So use the money and get it for me. Oh, I forgot something. Please buy me a bottle of chewed coke too. Um, with all due respect, ma, turn the fire you dear. No, no, nonsense. Nelson, I'm going to work. Go to the kitchen. You'll see the money I kept there. Use it to buy soap or detergent. Then go to the bathroom. You'll see the dirty clothes I kept there. Wash the clothes and dry them. Then use part of the money and buy the things you will use to cook jollof rice. Please, the food should be ready before I return from work. Rose, when will you stop seeing me as your slave? When will you start seeing me as your husband? This your character is becoming unbearable to me. Anyways, I'm also going out. I won't be at home. You are going out to where? In search of a job. Interesting. So if I may ask, how much job are you searching for? Even if I see a job of 20,000 Naira, I will resume immediately. It is better for me than to stay at home performing the duties of a houseboy. 20,000 Naira is too poor. Don't worry. 
I will be paying you 50,000 Naira monthly and you'll be staying at home. I don't just want you to work. 20,000 Naira earned without insults is better than 50,000 Naira and with so many insults attached to it. Please keep your money. I don't have time to exchange words with you this morning. You better don't step your feet out of this house unless you want to see the other side of me. Have a nice day. See you in the evening. Chai! What kind of problem is this? This woman can never change. She's becoming worse day by day. It's only God that can deliver me from my hands. What will I do now? Ha! Ah, inside life. This life is not just balanced. My guy, don't worry. I've gotten a solution to your problem. Start talking. What you do is this. Buy a sleeping tablet. Put it in her food or drink. Then, fold your hands and watch the drama. She will sleep and forget herself. Then, relax. Take a shower and do to her whatever that pleases you. Isn't that a rape? Rape kwa? Uh-uh. In -uh. Azikwaya? Hope you are thinking straight. How is it possible for a man to rape his wife? When you do it without her consent, I think it should be called rape. One, we are talking about your wife here. Eh, kwa? Which one is rape? My guy, listen. You can only rape a woman or a lady who is not your wife. But for the fact that Rose is your wife, Bagam, that one is not a rape. Charles, this your brain, eh? My guy, I have given you a solution to your problem. And please, don't pity her. She has denied you her body for two years. Nelson, complete two solid years. Don't pity her, but take it easy, yo. I should not pity her. At the same time, I should take it easy. Now, wow. Yes. This is what I will continue doing. Oh, a very big thanks to my friend Charles. Wow, today is just like a Christmas day to me. Hello Charles, the bad guy. My guy, how far? How was the experience? Or I share your testimony. It will work the way you said it. She came back from work yesterday. I served her the food. She ate it and slept off. <laughs> Bad guy. So how was your journey to the promised land? My guy, yesterday was just like a Christmas day to me. The sleeping tablet worked well. You see, I told you. I will buy another sleeping tablet today. In fact, for the whole of this month, I will be buying the sleeping tablet. My guy, take it easy, yo. Thank you so much. The sleeping tablet has saved my life. Well done, Nelson. I heard everything you said. So you drugged and raped me. Nelson, you raped your own wife. Anyways, I don't have much to say. It is time for you to visit the prison. When you get there, you will explain to them. You don't even know the level of crime you just committed. Drug abuse and rape. God, as I'm going out now to look for job. Please help me. Hmm. God, help me. Oh, because if you don't help me, nobody will help me. God, think about it now. Imagine if you refuse to help me. Who do you think will help me? So for this reason, help me so I can see food to eat today. I need hot jollof rice and cow meat. Anyway, if I don't see meat, I will manage fish. And for the devil that has been stopping me from getting a job, I command thunder from Sahara Desert to fire you. Amen. Please, Rose, don't involve your father in this issue. Please, I'm really sorry. Forgive me. I don't think you know what you are saying. My father must know about it. Rose, remember I'm your husband. We are not supposed to involve our parents in issues like this. I will tell him and you must visit the prison. So whenever you remember your prison experience, the thought of raping your wife will flee from your mind. Baby, a man cannot rape his wife. I'm not trying to justify my action. But you should try to understand that I am a human being with blood. I have feelings. And for the fact that I am a human, you should treat me as one. And also, I don't see any reason why you should deny me my rights in your life. You will get back your rights the day you become a man, the day you start providing for your wife. 
the day you start paying house rent and being responsible like other men. How will I provide for my wife, pay house rent, and become a responsible man? When you have refused me to work, I have pleaded me two times that number to allow me to work. But all my plea fell on deaf ears. What else do you want me to do? Should I kill myself for you? Maybe killing yourself will be better for you. Anyway, I wouldn't want you to die in my house. Just stand up and leave. Have you forgiven me? I have forgiven you, but you will go to prison the next time you try that nonsense with me. Ah, God, I thank you. You are thanking God instead of me. Okay, thank you, Rose. Oga security man, how far? How are you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. Um, oh, this security uniform did not fit you at all. It's like the tailor that sewed the cloth did not measure you. <laughs> See, as you are looking like a monkey wearing a suit. Anyway, it's not your fault. Maybe you inherited the uniform. So, how far? When is the interviewer coming to interview me? Very soon, sir. Please, can you call him on phone? I need this job bad, bad. Okay, sir. Why are you waiting for him? Can I ask you some few questions? As what now? Nah? Look at this ordinary security man trying to override me. Don't let me set under fire you all. I'm really sorry, sir. But please, I just want to ask you some questions. It's like you want to fire you. Anyway, ask your question. Which post are you applying for? I'm applying for the post of Managing Director, MD. <laughs> and my name too is MD. Chai! This job is already mine. But hope you know that managing director is the same person who owns the company. What's my business with that? Sorry, sir, but the vacancy we have here now is the post of a chief security officer, CSO. Thunder fire left kidney, dear. I'm not here for a security officer. Sir, the salary is 100,000 naira per month. Eh? You mean I'm? Ah, I would like it to. Are you sure you can do it? Look at this ordinary security man, oh. Why are you asking that kind of question? TFU, dear. Don't fire you. No, 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 nonsense. Hello, good day, sir. Good day, my brother. Don't mind me, Jare. This security man is just here provoking me. Are you ready for this interview? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Can I know your name? My name is Mark David, but just call me MD. Okay, MD. I have just a simple question to ask you. Can you spell plantain? Ah. Would you consign plantain and this interview? Please spell plantain. Okay, is it right plantain or right plantain? Uh uh. Plantain is plantain. Just spell it. Which one is the right one or right one? Hmm. I know what I'm asking now. Anyway, let me spell it. You know, the word plantain is two. One is a three and the other one is a number. So if you want to divide it, you will say plant ten. That's the combination of the word plant and ten. So, Plantain is spelled P L A N T. You put comma, then T E N. Plantain. Hmm. What a funny answer. Anyway, I have no right to employ or dismiss you. Let's wait for the CEO to say something. He is the one standing right before you with security uniform. Over to you, sir. What? Tell me you are joking. Well, Mr. McDavid, self acclaimed MD. I just have a word of advice for you. Never you look down on anyone in life unless you are admiring their shoe. I decided to put on this security uniform and bring myself so low before you. Just know the kind of person you are. I'm sorry, there's no vacancy for you. You can take your leave now. Rose, my daughter, it is good to see you again. How have you been? You have forgotten about your dad. You hardly call to check up on me or even to pay me a visit. You should always check up on me, at least to know how I am doing. Daddy, I promise to change. That's good. So how is your husband, Nelson? Hope he's fine and hope he's not troubling you. Daddy, he's fine. Just that he used to disturb my peace at times. What? You mean Nelson disturbs your peace? No, I can't take that from him. I can't even take that from anybody. I'm just managing him. So Nelson doesn't know the daughter of whom you are? Please, take this message to him. Tell him that I am a lion. And the daughter of a lion is also a lion. He should know that I don't play with my daughter. Daddy, don't worry. I can handle him. Please, don't let anything disturb you. All right, my daughter. So, Daddy, how is life treating you? My dear, life is really treating me well. That's why I wouldn't tolerate anything that will obstruct your peace.
Wow, Aunt Rose, you're not looking bad at all. <laughs> Thanks, dear. And how are you? My dear, I'm just the way I am since you left me in this house. Like, seriously? Yes, yeah, so... So how is life and everything? My dear, God is really good to us. In all things, whether good or bad, we always give thanks to God. That's it, my dear. Yeah, how is your husband, Nelson? He's doing fine, I guess. Why guessing? Just forget about him. Let's discuss important things. Okay, oh, she says so. Yeah, so how far is you? When are you giving us wine to drink? Which wine are you talking about? You should understand, nah. I mean, when are you planning your traditional wedding? My dear, everything is in God's hands. I don't even have anybody in my life now. What about Felix, your guy? My dear, Felix disappointed me. He told me he was traveling to the village, only for me to hear he went to marry a wife. Are you serious? My dear, Felix broke my heart. Since then, I've been single. Husband is really hard to get. Don't worry, dear. God will provide another person for you. Amen. I've been planning to take like one month off from work. I want to come over to your place to spend time with you. I've been feeling lonely in my house. You are highly welcome, my dear. Please don't feel depressed. God will give you a good husband that will take good care of you. Amen. I pray so. Susan, how are you? I'm fine, sir. I was told you wanted to see me. Hope all is well. Sir, all is not well. What's the matter with you? Sir, I have been emotionally down. I am feeling depressed. It's like the whole world is turning against me. Why? What's happened? Sir, it's a long story and I wouldn't want to share it. Susan, feel free to share with me. Remember, I am a human and I have feelings too. Anyway, let me cut it short. My fiance broke my heart into pieces. What exactly did he do? He cheated on you? Cheating would have been better. He left me and married another lady without even breaking up with me. He only told me he was traveling to his village, not knowing he was traveling for his traditional marriage. Oh, that's a very sad story indeed. So, sir, I'm asking for one month leave. I need to take care of myself before something bad happens to me. I'm sorry for that. I understand how you feel. Anyway, just go and put it in writing. And, and hope you know you are not receiving salary for the one month. No problem, sir. My life is more important than my salary. All right, Suzanne. Just go and write a letter and submit to me. Nelson, my sister is coming to spend one month here with us. I'm not supposed to tell you, but I just wished to. So when you see her, you should respect her as my sis. You dare not talk to her anyhow or do anything that will get her angry. And you are also vacating the room for her. You can take your things to the sitting room, pending when she will be leaving. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma. Good. Also hide all your negative and bad characters for now. Because if my sister notices any, she will tell my father and you know what that means. Secondly, don't expect me or my sister to enter the kitchen and cook for you. It is your duty to cook for us. Rose, let me ask you a question. How will you feel if your sister should see me cooking for you? I am okay with it. What about your sister? How will she see it? You are not my sister. Neither are you my brother. So however she sees it is none of your business. Hmm, things are getting worse day by day. That's your own cup of tea. I have given you my words. Make sure you keep to it. Don't worry, Rose. The world has not ended yet. A time will come when the table will turn against you. Enough of that nonsense talk. You better don't get me angry. Daddy, I will be going to my sister's place tomorrow. Which of your sisters? Rose, of course. Do I have another sister? What are you going there to do and what about your work? Won't you be going to work? I have taken permission from my boss. So what are you going there to do? I want to go and spend some time with them. Why would you go there to spend some time with them? 
You should know that Rose is married. She invited me to come. You're not going anywhere. But daddy, she invited me to come. Tell her I said you're not going anywhere because you don't have anything you're going there to do. Daddy, please, allow me to go. If you can tell me the reason why you're going there, then I will allow you to go. Daddy, you know the issue I had with Felix. I need to get over it. That's not enough reason to go to a married woman's house and spend a whole month. No, it's not done. Daddy, please. Suzanne, don't beg me, please. I don't just want you to go. Hello, Sister Rose. Hello, Suzanne. How are you? I'm not just fine. Why are you not fine? Daddy don't want me to visit you. I don't know what has come over him. What's his reason for saying no? I don't just know. Maybe he doesn't want me to leave this house. Why is daddy doing that? He should allow you to visit me. Is he not aware of your condition? He's aware, but he doesn't understand how I feel. I won't blame him anyway. And you have already taken permission from your boss? Yeah, he permitted me to rest for a month and take good care of myself. So what are we going to do? I think you should call that by yourself and explain to him. I can't just imagine myself staying alone in this house for one month. Don't worry. I will call him. I don't see any reason why he should restrict you from coming. Please do that as soon as possible. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Daddy. And you? I'm doing well. Okay, Daddy. I have something I want to tell you. Go on. I'm listening. Susan wants to come to my place and stay for a while. She has taken permission from her place of work. So I also need your permission. What exactly is she coming to do in your house? Don't she know you are married? Daddy, actually, she's coming to have some rest. She's feeling depressed and heartbroken. I don't want her to harm herself. That's why I want her to come and spend some time with me. What about your husband? Will he permit that? Daddy, my husband is a simple man. He doesn't have any problem with that. Anyway, I'm not stopping her from coming to your place. But Daddy, she said you asked her not to come. Yes, because I don't want her to disturb your marriage. She's old enough to be in her husband's house. Daddy, don't worry. Very soon, she too will be in her husband's house. Alright, she can visit you. Since your husband will permit that. Thanks, Daddy. I love you. I love you too, my daughter. Please, Susan, I don't want you to go there and start causing problems between Rose and her husband. Most marriages fail today because of family interference. You are not supposed to go there and spend the whole of one month. It's wrong. I know she's your sister, but staying there for a month is not good. At least, two days is okay. Then... You come back, but since Rose is the one inviting you and she said her husband is not against it, then I won't be the one to tell you not to go. Daddy, don't worry. I'll be a good girl when I get there. My presence in that house won't cause any problem. Yeah, just make sure you mind your business. Make sure you respect the husband. Daddy, you know I'm not a troubleshooter and my intention is just going there to rest my head and see if I can recover from this emotional tumor. It's alright, my daughter. You can go. I permit you. Thank you so much, Daddy. You are welcome, Suzanne. Please, relax and make yourself comfortable. Stop thinking about that guy that broke your heart. The both of you are not meant to be together. So men are just heartless. I don't have an issue with him getting married to another lady but if he had earlier told me that we don't have a future together i would have moved on with my life but he just chose to waste my time and lisa got married to another lady i understand your feelings suzanne some men are heartless like you said but life goes on don't allow that to weigh you down soldier goes soldier come barack remains your own man will surely come and when he comes your former guy will be a thing of the past the pains in my heart is too much. That's why I needed to rest before I continue with my life. Don't worry, dear. I'm here for you. Very soon, you will forget about everything. So what about your husband? I haven't seen him. He's around. I have told him about you. He will soon be here. So you have been enjoying your marriage? Hmm. Did I hear you say enjoying? Yes, or are you not enjoying it? It's a long story, my dear. That should be a discussion for another day. Good day, beautiful queens. Good day, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, what's that your name again? Um, Suzanne. 
Yes, Suzanne, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Wow, it has been a long time. So what did you bring for us? I brought nothing, yo. Oh, you are highly welcome. Nelson, go and prepare something for us to eat. Prepare fried rice and salad. Please be fast about it. Allow me to finish greeting her before you start commanding me. How dare you vomit that rubbish from your mouth? Are you insane? Come on, Rose. Nelson is your husband. Why are you talking to him like that? Suzanne, please stay out of this. You know nothing about Nelson. He is very lazy and naughty. Allow me to talk to him. I'm sorry. Nelson, now go and prepare the fried rice and salad. Please don't waste my time. Rose, that was too harsh. I never expected you to talk to him like that. Hello, Mr. Kingsley. This is Charles on the line. Yeah, I'm calling in respect of what we discussed last week concerning the job opportunity. Yeah, sir, I called to check if there is any job available in your company. Um, yeah, I have someone, sir. He's hardworking, sir. Um, sir, for now, he's ready to do any kind of job. His name is Nelson, a very good friend of mine. Wow, thank you so much, sir. When should he resume, sir? As soon as possible? All right, sir. I will pass your message across to him. God bless you, sir. Bye. Kaba, where is the waiter now? Waiter! I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. You are very lucky. You just escaped 10 strokes of thunder. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you, don't mention. So what can I offer you, sir? What do you have? We have fried rice, jello fries, chicken pie, pizza, shawarma, vanilla ice cream, chocolate, strawberry, we also have African salad, meat pie, sausage, bread, then etc. Which one is etc? How does it taste? When I said etc, I mean and many others. Oh, I thought there is a food called etc. So which one should I offer you? What about tea? Do you people have it? Yes, we have chocolate tea. How much is it? One sachet is 100 naira. Yes, I need one sachet of tea. Please, make it very hot, oh. And what again, sir? Which kind of question be that? Oga, go and bring me tea, Joe. Okay, sir. Oh, mo. See this fine girl. Chai! This one fine like crayfish. Chai! See the way she look like mommy water. Hi! See beauty. The, this one she's just sitting close to me. It's like she love me oh. Chai! This waiter should not bring the tea now. God can create oh. See the way God come down and created this fine girl. Sir, here is your tea. Which tea is that one? The tea you requested for. What kind of insult is that? When did I tell you to break tea for me? CBC trouble. Is this how you insult people here? Why will I request for tea? Do you think I am poor? I'm sorry, sir. So what can I get for you? Get me a bottle of wine. Sir, what kind of wine do you want? Get me any wine you have. Don't be silly. Okay, sir. this lady going to she did not even notice my wine chai not even a single attention from her nah eh this life no balance your money sir how much two hundred thousand naira sir what i mean 
The wine is how much? Yes, sir. That's the price. 200,000 Naira. Wait. Does this wine give long life and prosperity? Why are you selling it for 200,000 Naira? Sir, please. That's the price. Are you paying with cash or ATM card? Look at this one. Since my mama bought me, have I counted 200,000 Naira as my money? Please. I don't have it. What I have here is 1,000 Naira. I thought the wine would be like 500 Naira. Then... You will balance me 500 naira change. Sir, if you don't have it, then you are going to work with us for 20 years to cover up the money. Ah, 20 years. <laughs> Nelson, listen to me. For this period of time that my sister will be spending here with us, please respect yourself. Don't show her how irresponsible you are. Whenever I ask you to do anything, please, I beg you, do it without hesitation. Also, make sure you respect my sister as well. Anything she wants to eat, please cook it for her. She is here to rest for a while before returning back. Make sure you act like somebody that is mature. Even if you don't have sense, just pretend as if you have. When she leaves, you can continue with your nonsense. Rose, you don't know how to talk. Don't think things are going to continue like this. That you are on top today does not mean you remain there forever. Nelson, the issue I have with you is that you are just too arrogant. You don't listen to instructions. Rose, let me ask you. Am I supposed to cook for you and your sister? How can I have two young ladies at home and I'll be the one to enter kitchen and cook for them? Does that sound right in your ears? Nelson, I don't have time to exchange words with you. I have told you what to do. If you like, don't do it. I'm already running late for work. See you later in the day. Nelson, don't worry. I had everything my sister told you. I want to apologize on her behalf. Even the way she talked to you the other time. I'm really sorry about that. Please forgive her. Thanks, Susie. You are just a different person entirely. Don't worry. You won't enter the kitchen again to cook until I leave this house. I will be the one cooking. I'm really sorry for how my sister has been maltreating you. Thank you so much, dear. God bless you for this. You're welcome, sir. So, before I prepare today's food, let me quickly get you a cup of tea. Please, feel free with me. I'm ready to serve you because you're the man of the house. Although, my sister might be the one paying the rent, but you're the owner of the house. I'm short of words. Thanks, Susie. Hello, Nelson, my mom. The only good and bad guy I know. Charles, how far? Longest time? Yes, so it has been long. So how are you doing? I'm doing good, bro. And you? As usual, I'm fine. Congratulations, my brother. Congratulations for what? I told you I was going to help you secure a job. As I'm talking to you right now, I have found a good job for you. Wow, are you serious? Yes, and you are asked to resume immediately. No interview for you. Just submit your CV and start working. Wow, Charles. You are such a nice person. I don't know how to thank you. You don't need to thank me. What are friends for? But I have a little problem, Charles. What's the problem, my nigga? My wife, Rose, is the problem I have. The very day we discussed about you helping me to get a job, I got home and told my wife, but she refused. She said I should be staying at home. Hmm. I think you need to take that your wife to a strong pastor for deliverance. All my life, I have been hearing of housewife. I don't know a man can become a house husband. My brother. I don't know what else to do. I'm just tired of the whole thing. So what are you trying to say in essence? My wife won't allow me to work. This is very painful. After all the effort I put just to secure a job for you, it is well. I will look for another person. There are many people out there looking for a job. I'm sorry, Charles. Please forgive me. I'm not angry with you. It is well. Wow. Thank you very much for the wonderful meal. You are such a wonderful cook. You're welcome, Nelson. Should I bring more? No, I'm okay for now. Let me wait for this one to step down before eating another one. So what exactly did you do to my sister that made her to be treating you this bad? I didn't do anything to her. I'm just surprised the way she treats me. She's the husband Why I am the wife. Could you believe that since we got married, she has not cooked for me? Hmm, that's very bad. I'm just managing my life with her. Don't worry yourself. We'll take care of you for this short period of time before I leave. 
you have started already. The kind of care I have received from you just these few days that you have been with us is so amazing. My wife has never shown me care for one day. That's life. Anyway, people don't value what they have until they lose it. So what actually brought you to our house? Is it that you wanted to rest for a while or there is more to it? My dear, it's a long story. Cut it short. I came here so I can forget about Felix. Who is Felix? The guy that wanted to marry me. I contributed so much to the relationship just to make sure it works out between the two of us. We have dated for so many years, for over five years, if I'm not mistaken. Then one day Felix told me he was traveling to his village. The next thing I heard was that he got married to another lady. I wanted to run back, but thank God I didn't. Hmm, that's so bad of him. Take heart, my dear. The right person for you will surely come. This life is not just balanced. So I'm here to relax my mind because if I can stay alone in my house, I might do something terrible to myself. Don't worry there. I am here for you. I'm enjoying your company. I wish you can live with us. Don't worry. I'll be coming from time to time. Could you believe that ever since I got married to my wife, we have not sat down like this and discussed as husband and wife, not even for one day. Hmm, that's very bad. Mrs. Rose, did you see the email that was sent to you? Yes, I saw it, but I don't have time yet to go through it. Please make sure you go through it. The mail contains a document where you are to fill your information. Like what kind of information? You are to update and submit the account number to use in receiving your pension, bonuses, investment and the shares you have with the company. This is very important because it will help the company to easily transfer the funds when you retire or if anything should happen. But I think I have submitted something like this before. I don't think you were among those that submitted theirs. You should also submit the name of your nest of kin should anything happen to you. Alright, thanks. Please, you have just two days to submit the document with the required information. I will definitely do that, sir. Thanks. Who will I use as my next of kin? Hmm? Should I use my husband? No, I can't use him as my next of kin. What about my father? Yeah, I will use my father. I need to see him today so we can discuss about it. Well, since I will be going to see my father, I don't need to go back home. Let me just go straight to my father's house and see him. Hello, Suzanne. How are you doing? I'm fine. Please, I won't be coming back to the house today. I want to go and see daddy. I will be going from here. Please take care of yourself till I come back. All right, but why are you going to see him? Hope all is well. All is well, my dear. I just want to have a little discussion with him. Okay, have you told your husband that you won't be coming home today? I don't need to tell him. Anyway, you can help me to tell him. All right, I will do just that. Please, don't allow him to intimidate you. Shine your eyes. Make sure he cooks for you. He does all the housework and also tidy up the compound. Who called you? Is it Rose, my wife? Yes, she's the one. She said she won't be coming home today. She won't be coming home today? Why? She wants to go and see my dad. And she could not even call to tell me. I think you have seen some of the things I complain about. Rose don't regard me in her life. She doesn't see me as her husband. Don't worry, dear. I will talk to her. I believe with time she will change. I don't think Rose will ever change. She will, I promise you. It's alright then. So what would you like to have for dinner? I need to go and prepare it now. Um, I would love to eat white rice and stew. Just white rice and stew. I would be okay with that. Alright then. Hmm, this is what I call a wife. See the way Suzanne has been taking good care of me. This is how my wife is supposed to be treating me. Ah, God, why didn't you give me a wife like Suzanne? I wish she's my wife. There would never be a bad day in my life. She's so caring, calm and respectful. Rose tried to poison her heart, so she would start behaving like her. But that didn't work. Go bless Susan for me. You are welcome, my daughter. How was work today? It was stressful though, but thank God for everything. Yeah, some days are like that. Yeah, today's work was too many. 
I couldn't finish it. I will continue tomorrow. I can't kill myself. So you said you wanted to see me for something very important. I hope it's not about your husband. Not really, but it has to do with him. So what's the issue? I want to use you as my next of kin for my pension. We are asked to submit the names of our next of kin and the account number in two days time. What about your husband? I don't want to use him. Why don't you want to use your husband as your next of kin? Daddy, I don't have any reason. My daughter, Nelson is your husband. You should use him as your next of kin. When you are not available, he should be the one to take care of your properties. Your husband cannot be alive and you want to use me as your next of kin. It's not done that way, my dear. If you are not in good terms with your husband, please, go and make peace with him. But daddy, I don't want to use him. You must use him, oh. You have no reason not to do so. Alright, daddy. I will think about it. You don't even need to think about it. That's the right thing to do. Just go ahead and do it. Okay, daddy. Suzanne, you have everything I need in a woman. I don't know why I got married to your sister instead of you. How I wish I can turn back the hands of clock. Don't worry, Nelson. For now, I'm here for you. I don't know why I have these strong feelings for you. If not that you're my sister's husband, I would have snatched you away from her. Please, snatch me away from her. I can't continue living with someone who doesn't have feelings and respect for me. I don't want to hurt my sister. I don't just want to hurt her feelings, but don't worry, we can still hang out together to enjoy ourselves. Yeah, my wife will be coming back tomorrow. We may not have time together again. So where are we hanging out to? We can book a hotel. But I don't have money to pay for a hotel room. Don't worry, I have much money with me. You don't need to spend anything. Let's just go out and enjoy ourselves. Please don't reveal this to my wife or to anybody. I'm not a kid. I won't. Good. Permit me to say I love you. I love you more, Nelson. My prayer is to get a handsome man like you. Not just a handsome man, but one that has good heart like you. Stop kidding me, Joe. I'm not kidding. You're a good man, but my sister don't value what she has. If other women should discover your kind of person, my sister will lose you immediately. Hmm. You are the first lady to tell me that I have a good heart. Auntie Rose, you're welcome. I've really missed you. For just this one day, you went to visit daddy. Thanks, dear. Hope Nelson didn't disobey my orders. No, he didn't. So how was the visit? It was fine, dear. Why did you visit daddy? Hope there is no problem. No problem at all. I was just missing him, so I decided to go visit him. Wow. Did he ask of me? Yeah, sure. And I told him you are fine. I trust you now. Anyways, your husband was not happy with you. Why was he not happy with me? Am I owing him money? He said you didn't inform him about the visit. Why would I inform him? Did he marry me or I married him? A man who has nothing to offer in my life. He should be happy that I kept him under my roof. Auntie Rose, please, calm down. Take it easy. I want you to start seeing Nelson as your husband. You should have told him that you would be visiting daddy. I don't see anything wrong in doing that. Please. I don't want to hear anything about Nelson. Just allow this matter to die. Rose, to be sincere, I don't like the way you treat Nelson. You treat him like he is nobody. Yes, Nelson is nobody to me. I hate him. You hate him? Hmm. Then why did you marry him? Suzanne, enough of all this. I don't have time to discuss about Nelson. Please, can you come up with something else? I don't have anything else to say. If you have nothing to say, then so be it.
Nelson, what is wrong with you? When did you develop such wings? Rose, what have I done this time around? Did I offend you? So you are asking me that stupid question. Rose, what did I do? You are pretending as if you don't know what you did. Please, if I have offended you, let me know about it so I can apologize. What did you tell my sister, Suzanne, when I wasn't around? And what did I tell her? I should be asking you that. Well, nothing much. I only complained to her that I don't like the way you have been treating me in this house. You left this house without telling me. What if something bad happens to you? So you now discuss husband and wife issue with Suzanne? If you have regard for me as your husband, you should have told me about your visit to your dad. But I'm too small for you. If your sister is not here with us, you would have left the house without my notice. Nelson, listen to me. I don't need to take an excuse from you before I go anywhere I wish to. So stop carrying your shoulder up. You are still under my roof. And I want to warn you. Don't ever complain to my sister. I am your wife and not my sister. Did I hear you say you are my wife? Yes, Nelson. I am still your wife. I don't think so. What kind of wife are you? A wife who will leave the house without telling the husband. Is that one a wife? A wife who doesn't cook for her husband. A wife that doesn't have respect for her husband. A wife claiming to be the head over her husband. Is that what you call a wife? That's none of my business. I have given you my warnings. I don't like what I hate. Nonsense. Nelson, what happened? What did my sister say to you? I'm just tired of Rose. It is time for me to move out of this house. No, it has not gotten to that. Tell me what happened. Susan, I have so many things to tell you, but I can't just start saying it here. Just try your best. I'm here for you. Talk to me. Susan, I need to go to a quiet place before I can say anything. I don't just understand this whole thing. Time has come for me to break out from this bondage I put myself into. So where would you want us to go to? Anywhere quiet and cool. Okay, don't worry. I will make an arrangement for that. Susan, I really want to thank you for your care. Your presence in that house has brought so many joy and happiness to my heart. At least for the past weeks now, I don't cook, neither do I do other houseworks. I'm really grateful. I don't know how to pay you back for all this. Nelson, please stop making my ego to rise. Susan, you don't know the joy you have brought to me. I can't even stay in that house again without seeing you around. Wow, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Any day you leave that house, I'm going with you. No, Nelson, you don't have to do that. Rose is still your wife. But she doesn't see me as her husband. You just have to give her time. She will definitely change one day. I have waited for her long enough. Now. Let's go to the reason why I called you out here. I'm listening to you. Susan, my heart is beating for you seriously. And I need you in my life. You need me in your life like how? I don't get. I want us to become lovers. You have shown me something I can't resist and that is love. Hmm, Nelson. I understand how you feel. But Rose is my sister. My father will kill me if he gets to know we're having anything together. He never allowed me to visit you and my sister. And he warned not to bring misunderstanding between you and Rose. I'm sorry, Nelson. I can't harm my sister. Susan, don't you love me? For sure. I love you, Nelson. And you're the type of man I need for a husband. But as it stands now, I have nothing to do about the love I have for you. Let's just continue being friends. So, how do I stop loving you, Susan? Each time I set my eyes on you, I see love and care. I wish I never married Rose. I wish I still have the chance to make amendments. Don't worry, Nelson. Very soon, things will fall in pleasant places for you. Nelson, my man. Longest time, bro. How have you been? My brother, I am fine, oh, and you? I am fine too. How is your wife, Rose? She's fine too. Hope she has changed. Her behavior is even getting worse. I have never seen that kind of human being in my life. Are you sure Rose is not possessed by an evil spirit? I'm thinking you should take her for deliverance. I wish I can do. Anyway, 
continue managing her until she repents. Only God knows when. That's by the way. Charles, I'm in a serious trouble. What trouble are you talking about? My wife's sister came to visit us. And ever since then, she has been showing me a lot of care. Her name is Susan. Charles, you need to see this lady. She's just the opposite of my wife, Rose. Hmm, are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. This lady has been so nice to me. She cooks for me, washes my clothes, discuss with me, gives me happiness and joy. In fact, she's giving me all what I couldn't get from my wife. The main reason why I came to see you is that I'm deeply in love with Susan. What? You mean you are in love with your wife's sister? Yes, yeah, so, and the love I have for her is genuine. I don't think it's genuine. What do you think will happen if your wife finds out? That's why I came to seek for an advice. Please, Charles, how do I stop loving her? Nelson, I believe you are old enough to take decisions. You know the right thing to do. Please do it. Hello, Susan, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Daddy. And you? I'm fine, dear. Ever since you went to your sister's place, you have not picked up your phone to dial my number, not to talk of calling me. I'm so sorry, Daddy. So what's your reason for not calling to check up on me? Daddy, I don't have any reason. So you purposely don't want to call me? No, Daddy. It's not what you think. So how have you been enjoying your stay with them? Daddy, this place is really nice on me. I wish you stay longer. And that's part of the reason why I called you. I will be traveling this week to Abuja, and I don't know when I'll be coming back. So I'm calling to inform you that you should stay with your sister for now. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I'm so happy. So how have you been coping with her husband? Hope there is no issue. No problem, Daddy. We are all living in peace. Please, my daughter, be careful. I will. All right, dear. Take care of yourself. Bye. This is my daddy, eh? He's so caring and loving. I'm lucky to have him as a father. Men like him are scarce. Oh Lord, please continue to keep and bless my father for me. Good day, Mrs. Rose. Good day, sir. Did you check the notice board this morning? No, I didn't. Is there a new information? Six names are pasted on the notice board. What are the names for? Those six people will be traveling to Abuja for a very important meeting to represent the company. Is my name there? Yes, I'm surprised that you did not check the notice board. When are we traveling for the meeting? As soon as the company sorts out some things, you have to report to the manager's office to let him know if you will be going for the meeting or not. How long would the meeting last? It would last for three days. I need time to think about it. I don't know if I would be going or not. Please do whatever you are doing fast and report to the manager's office. All right. Thanks for the information. You are welcome. See you later in the day. How was work today? It was fine, dear. I can see. The work is really good on you. So how are you feeling now? Hope you have gotten over Collins. Not really, but I'm getting over him. Try and get over him completely. Life has so many good things to offer you. That's true. Thanks for your care and thanks for allowing me to stay in your house for the period. You are welcome, dear. Before I forget, I was selected among the people that would travel to Abuja for a very important meeting. What meeting is that? We are to represent my company in the meeting, and the meeting would last for three days. But I don't know whether I should go or not. That's good, but have you told your husband? I think the both of you should discuss about it. Which husband? Nelson, of course. Or do you have another husband? Why should I tell him? Because he's your husband. Nelson is not the one to decide whether I would go for the meeting or not. I am the one feeding him, paying the house rent, and other things that has to do with money. He has never contributed any penny in this house. So why would he decide for me? I don't know what else to say. That's better for you. Nelson, what is wrong with you? I have noticed you've been dull these days. What's the matter with you? I don't know what is wrong with my body. I have been losing strength for some days now. I took some drugs, but it has no effect on me. Is Rose aware of this? Someone that doesn't have time for me, how would she know if I'm sick or not? That's very bad of her. Let me just be managing myself. No, dear. 
You don't manage sickness. I think you should go to the hospital so they can conduct a test to know what's actually wrong with you. Please, don't be comfortable with sickness. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. You are just performing the duties of my wife. Please, Susan, don't bother yourself. I will be fine. No, Nelson. Please, you need to visit the hospital at least. Let them conduct a test to know what is wrong with you. It's not good to cover sickness. Don't you know that a covered sickness is dangerous to your health? What if the sickness kills you? That will be fine. At least, it will give my wife, Rose, the opportunity to marry another husband. Please, you are still very important and loved by many. Let's plan on how you visit the hospital. Nelson, what is wrong with you? He has been sick for some days now and nobody even noticed. I don't think he's sick. I believe he's just pretending. No, Sister Rose. He's not pretending. Nobody is comfortable with sickness. That means you don't know Nelson. He can pretend. The reason why he's acting all this drama is because he doesn't want to cook today's food. I have known Nelson right from time. Even if he's pretending, there is need to take care of him. I hear you, Miss Caretaker. Anyway, you can take care of him. I have important things to attend to. Don't worry, Nelson. I'm going to make sure that you are fine. Don't mind my sister. I'm coming. Let me get you something to eat first before talking on the next thing to do. Based on the tests carried out, Nelson is suffering from emotional stress. He thinks too much and is very detrimental to his health. It can lead to high blood pressure and it kills in seconds. Please, Nelson should try and free his mind from anything bothering him. He should also engage in morning exercise. Also go to the movie center. Discussing with friends and socializing would also help to solve this problem. He should watch comedies. He should laugh as his strength can carry him. Catch fun and so many other things. Please, help him to engage in all these things I have listed out. I will come later to check on him. Nelson, you have heard all what the doctor said, but you don't need to worry much. I'm here for you. I need to rush home now to get something. I'll be back. Mrs. Rose, I came to know your response. Would you be going for the trip? When exactly are we traveling for the meeting? The five other people to travel with you have accepted the offer. You are the only one remaining. The date of the meeting would be fixed as soon as you respond. So I am the one delaying the meeting? Of course, yes. And today is the last day for you to tell us whether you are going or not. Alright, I will be going for the meeting. That's good. Let me report to the management immediately. Auntie Rose, your husband is not pretending to be sick at all. He's in the hospital right now. Seriously? So what is wrong with him? The doctor said he's passing through emotional stress and too much thinking. What is he thinking? I provide food for him. I give him shelter. He lacks nothing in this house. So what again is he thinking about? Nothing should be bothering him. Auntie Rose, the most important thing is for him to recover. And the doctor said he should reduce stress. What is Nelson doing for me in this house? Is it not just to cook, clean the house, and wash my clothes? I'm suspecting Nelson. Why are you suspecting him? Maybe he wants to bribe the doctor. I don't trust him. No, he didn't. I was there when the test result came out. Anyway, I wish him quick recovery. And that reminds me, I will be traveling in a few days time. Traveling to where? I have accepted to travel to Abuja for that important meeting that will last for three days. Auntie, do you have conscience at all? How would you leave your husband in the hospital and travel? You have not even gone to visit him. Why can't you tell your company that your husband is not feeling fine? Please, that meeting is very important. Nelson and his sickness won't put food on my table. What about the hospital bill? That's not a problem. Calculate everything and send it to my phone. I will make a transfer. Nelson. So you have been sick all this while without telling me? Now wow, what kind of friends are we safe? Please don't be angry with me. So how are you feeling now? 
I'm getting better, bro. What about your wife, Rose? Hope she's aware you are in the hospital. I don't know if she's aware or not. But if she's aware, that means Susan must have told her. Wait, do you mean she has not come to this hospital to visit you? My brother, I'm yet to see her. That's very bad of her. A reasonable woman can't behave like that. Nelson, you really need to do something about this. My brother, I don't know what else to do. I leave everything for God. So what about her sister, Suzanne? She's the one that brought me to hospital. She has been taking care of me, showing me endless love. She's taking care of me like her husband. It's like you will leave Rose and switch to Susan. How I wish it to be possible. Don't worry, we'll talk about that later. So how is Nelson? He's fine. I think he'll be discharged today or tomorrow. When he comes back, he should resume activities immediately. Which activities are you talking about? His work in this house. He should take care of the house, tidy up everywhere and put things in order. How do you expect him to do all of that after returning from the hospital? That's not my business. He should resume his activities immediately. I have just a few minutes before embarking on the journey to Abuja. Please make sure you take care of the house. If anyone looks for me, tell the person I traveled. Alright, I will try my best. Don't forget to buy something when coming back. Don't worry, I will call you when I get there. Bye for now. Okay, bye. Safe journey. Susan, I don't know where to start thanking you. I don't have silver nor gold to give you. I just want to say thank you for your love and care towards me. If not for you, this sickness might kill me. Thanks for taking me to the hospital. Thanks for taking good care of me. I owe you the world. You're welcome, Nelson. Don't worry yourself about anything. I'm here for you. So, what about my wife, Rose? Where did she go to? She traveled to Abuja. Didn't you tell her I was sick? I told her, she's the one that cleared the hospital bill, so she's aware of your health condition. So she knew I was in the hospital, and she traveled. Have you seen what I have been complaining about? If Rose is a good wife, would she travel and leave me in the hospital? She did not even visit. I wonder what would have happened to me if you didn't come for this holiday. My dear, I understand your pains, and I'm here to assist you in my own little way. I've been talking to Auntie Rose, but she seems to have deaf ears. And I don't want anything that will bring problems between the both of us. Sometimes, I wonder if the same parents gave birth to the both of you. Rose is the opposite of you. He's well there. Let's put everything in God's hands. Let me go and boil water for you. The doctor said you should be taking your baby hot water for now. So after your baby, we'll go out to see a movie. Don't worry, all the bills on me. Good women are few in this world. And you are one of them. Please, Susan. Permit me to say I love you. I love you too, Nelson. Let me go boil the water. Wow! Susan said she loved me too. Maybe time has come for things to fall in place. Now that Rose has traveled, I think it's time to show Susan all the love I have stored for years. This is the time for me to show it out. Hello, Suzanne. How are you? Fine, Auntie Rose. I knew. Fine, too. How is Nelson? Hope he is back from the hospital. Yes, he's back. That's good. I called to inform you that I will be staying here for seven days. The meeting, which is supposed to last for three days, has been rescheduled. Would you be away for seven days? Yes, my dear. Please take care of the house. All right, I will. But I think you should call your husband and inform him. 
He was angry you didn't come to the hospital. Why would he be angry with me? Didn't you tell him that I cleared his hospital bills before traveling? If I don't care, will I even pay the money? Nelson should respect himself. I don't want to get angry here. Please tell him not to make me angry. I will pass your message to him. That will be fine. Please take care of yourself. Bye for now. I can't believe we actually did it. Everything is still like a dream to me. Susan, there is no point trying to cover up anything here. We both love ourselves and you know that. What about my sister? What will be her fate if she finds out? Don't worry, Susan. She will never find out. But Nelson, I don't think we are doing the right thing. Even Rose is not doing the right thing. How will a married woman travel for seven days without telling her husband? What do you think she went there to do? Who knows what she is doing there right now? She went for a meeting. Who knows if she truly went for a meeting? My dear, don't worry yourself. Let's continue with our love. Nelson, I am afraid. Before I came here, my daddy warned me seriously and I promised never to disappoint him. Now look at what is happening between us. Rose will be blamed in all these things. Thank God you are here with us. At least you have seen how she has been treating me. Nothing would ever make me to cheat on my wife. But with the way things are going now, I have made up my mind to face anything that will come out of this. So Susan, you don't need to panic. We are in this together. You are welcome, Sister Rose. How was the journey? My dear, we thank God. The meeting was successful. That's good to hear. I really missed your presence for these few days. Oh, I miss you too, dear. Hope Nelson didn't disobey your orders. No, he didn't. He's still recovering from the sickness. It's all right. So how is life in general? Hope your heart is cleared now. Yes, I'm getting better. Rose, you are welcome. Thanks, Nelson. Rose, what you did was very bad. You didn't inform me about the trip to Abuja. I don't need to tell you. I felt sick as well, yet you showed no care. So Suzanne didn't inform you about the bill? Rose, money is not everything. Then give me back the money I used in paying for the hospital bill. I don't have much to say, but just know that one day you will live to regret all this. Thank God you have recovered fully. Yes, so, and thank God for using Susan to take care of me. If not for her, something bad would have happened to me. Really? Yeah, that lady is a God sent. I can't stop loving her. So what are your plans towards her? Thanks for that question. That's the reason why I came here today. Me and Susan have started running things together. What? I don't believe it. You just have to believe it, oh. We are going out for a date tomorrow, and I would spend two days in the hotel. Guy, tell me you are joking. I am serious bro, I came to inform you because my phone will be switched off for that two days. In case my wife calls, tell her I'm in your house. Guy, this is too hard for me to believe. Chai Nelson, you are a terrible bad guy. Guy, if you are in my shoes, you would have done the same. Rose has really dealt with me. Now, I have seen someone better than her. This is not going to end well bro. But don't worry, I'll cover up for you. That's why I like you bro. You are the only one that understands how I feel. Auntie Rose, I will be away for two days. I want to visit a friend of mine who has been disturbing me for a very long time. Who is this person? 
Is it Collins? No, I'm going to visit a female friend. My old time friend. I have promised her long ago that I would visit her. And you will spend two days with her? Yes, Auntie Rose. I would have loved to spend more days, but I don't know how comfortable that place would be for me. It's alright, dear. Just be careful because the days are evil. I will, dear. Thank you for your care. Susie, thanks for coming into my life. I never knew love could be sweet like this. So this is what I have been missing. You are such a darling. Nelson, you're a full package. You're just one in a million. You have all what I need in a man. But I still can't fathom how this thing started. Okay, maybe I should tell you how it started. Yes, tell me. When my wife ignores me, you are always there to talk with me. Whenever my wife scolded at me, my wife didn't look at my face. But you came and took me to the hospital. Whenever my wife goes to work, you are the only one to keep me company. Now, Susie, tell me, if you are in my shoes, would you let such a woman go? No, I wouldn't. Thanks for saying the truth. So for how long are we going to continue in this? As long as the love exists, I can't desire any other woman. You are all that I want. You have all it takes to make a happy home. And you have all it takes to make a woman happy. That means our love won't have an end. Good day, Mrs. Rose. How are you doing today? I'm fine, sir. Please, go back to the mail you sent to AB Positive Ventures. You made a little mistake there. Really? Please, what is the mistake? You are supposed to approve 20 million for that project. Yeah, that's the amount I approved. No, please go and check. You made a mistake. What you approved was 200 million instead of 20 million. Ah, that's a terrible mistake. You need to correct it as soon as possible. We have contacted the company pointing out the mistake and they are patiently waiting for the correction. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I'm really grateful. Please be careful next time. Always check your information twice before sending out. Thank you, sir. I will. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks and you too, sir. My dear, do you know that my village people came for me in the office today? What happened? I made a terrible mistake that would have caused me a serious problem. Really? What's the mistake? I was to approve 20 million naira for a particular project, but I made a mistake by approving 200 million. What? That's a terrible mistake indeed. Thank God the company was able to go through the budget and they saw the mistake. So how did you settle with them? I have corrected the mistake. I really thank God for that miracle. Wow, thanks to God. Good day, sir. You're welcome. Thanks, dear. Um, Rose, something is really bothering me, and I want to say it in the presence of your sister. And what is that thing bothering you? I want to go and search for a job. I want to start working. I'm tired of sitting down at home doing nothing. I thought we had an agreement. And what's the agreement? I thought I told you not to work, that I'll be paying you salary. Rose, I'm tired of all this. I can't sit at home every day doing nothing. I want to start working. But you are not idle. There are many works to do in this house. You can employ a house help. I can't continue like this. I want to work. Auntie Rose, please allow him to go and look for a job. Susan, please help me to tell her. For crying out loud, I'm a graduate with first class degree. My results can get me a good job. I can't just be sitting at home doing nothing. Auntie Rose, please listen to what he's saying. He really needs to have something doing. Susan. You are not the one to tell me what to do. This is my house. I am the one paying for the rent. So whatever decision I make in this house is final. I don't have much to say for now. Excuse me. Hello, Susan. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, too. It is good to hear your voice again. Wow, your voice haven't changed a bit. Really? Thanks. But please, who is on the line? Wow, it's obvious that you've forgotten about me. 
Your voice is familiar, but I can't really tell whom you are. Ah, Suzanne, not too fast. Please calm down and listen to my voice. You should know who is talking. I said your voice is familiar, and for you to call me by my name, that means you know me. But please, I don't know you for now. Just go ahead and tell me. Okay, I promise to tell you. But can you guess? Um, is it Mike? No, I'm not Michael. Um, I think Kinsley. No, I'm not Kinsley. Then who are you? Okay, let me tell you. Susan, this is Collins. Collins? Collins from where? Do I know you? Yeah, this is Collins, your former boyfriend. Collins, you must be a madman. So you still have my number with you? Baby, please calm down. It's one that fired that mouse you are using to tell me to calm down. Baby, I know I've offended you. Please, I'm calling to ask for your forgiveness. You still have the mouth to talk. So after all the pains you made me pass through, you have the guts to call my number. Ah, I have offended Susan. And I don't think she will forgive me. But I really need her forgiveness. And I need her back in my life. Ah, Susan, please forgive me. I am really sorry for bringing pains in your life. I need you at this point in my life. God, please have mercy on me. Help me reconcile with Susan. Hmm, Nelson, you won't believe what happened today. What happened? Collins called me today. Who is Collins? The same guy that broke my heart. The same guy that put me in the condition where I am today. Hmm, so he called you today. And what did he say? I didn't give him the chance to say anything. No, Susan. You should have allowed him to say something. No, I won't. I nearly committed suicide because of that guy. I don't want him anywhere close to my life. I don't want to hear from him and I don't want to see him. Susan, I'm not saying you should accept him back in your life. But all I'm saying is this. You should have allowed him to talk. Only God knows what he has to say. So I should talk to him? Yeah, if he calls back. Allow him to talk. Alright. Let's wait till he calls back. Thank you, Susan, for giving me this opportunity. Please, I don't have much time to waste. Go ahead and tell me the reason why you called. Thanks once again. Please, I called to really apologize to you. I know you hate me, but please forgive me. I am really sorry. I don't know what came over me. Everything that happened between us is still like a nightmare to me. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Is that all you have to say? No, I still have many things to tell you. At least you need to hear my own side of the story. Then start talking. This is not something we can discuss over the phone. Please, I want us to see face to face. You want to see my face before you can talk? Exactly. Alright then, I'll think about it. Thanks. I'll be waiting for your feedback. Auntie Rose, you won't believe what is happening. If you tell me, I will believe. Collins has been disturbing me. The same Collins that broke your heart? Yes, so he has been calling. So what is he saying? He apologized to me and said he wants to see me. Why does he want to see you after causing you so much pain? That guy must be wicked and heartless. Very wicked. So did you agree to go see him? I told him I'll think about it. Please be careful with him. Don't meet him in a closed place. The both of you should meet in an open place. Sure. I am being careful. Susan, thanks for honoring this invitation. My heart is filled with happiness. Setting my eyes on you again is a thing of joy. Thanks once again. The pleasure is mine. Please bear with me. I have so many things to say, but I will try as much as possible to be brief. First and foremost, I love you, Susan, and it has been my intention for us to settle down as husband and wife. But the problem started when I traveled to the village. My mom insisted that I must marry a lady from my village. I disagreed with them, but they threatened to disown me. 
and to have nothing to do with me again if I disobey them. I had no choice than to obey them. I was afraid to tell you about it. Please, I'm really sorry for everything. Forgive me. What you are saying sounds so funny. I can't see any evidence of truth in it. Susan, all what I said now is nothing but the truth. I'm not lying. So what can I do for you? The main issue now is that the marriage is not working. It's like I'm forcing myself to live with my wife. That's your problem, not mine. Okay, let me go straight to the point. Susan, I want you back in my life. Are you alright? Do you know what you're saying? Yes, Susan. I know what I said. I need you in my life. We have separated. She's no more living with me. I can't live with such a lady. She gives me trouble every day. We quarrel and fight every day. No day will pass without an issue. She just woke up one day, packed her things, and left. Now I've realized my mistake. I need you in my life. If I knew, I wouldn't have listened to my parents. I'm sorry, Collins. I have moved on with my life. I have nothing to do with you again. Please, Susan. Don't do this to me. I still love you. And you know I do. Collins, where were you when I needed your love? Please, I don't love you again. Go and find your way and leave my life alone. Nelson, it's not a small thing, no. What happened? Why did he want to see you? It's a long story. The young man had a serious problem in his life. What's the problem? He was forced to marry a lady, but the lady left him. Now he's single. Hmm, that's very bad. And he wants me back. As in, he wants to marry you? Yeah, that's what he said. Then, what was your response? I told him, no, I can't marry him. He should go back and bring his wife back. That's good. Please don't ever accept to go back to him. You know I can't do that. Some men are just funny. After he abandoned you and married another lady, he came back trying to marry you as a second wife. Please, delete his number from your phone. I have done that already. Hello, Susan, my daughter. How are you doing over there? Hope you are fine. Yes, Dad. I'm fine. How are you doing, too? I'm fine, too, dear. I just came back from travel. Wow, how was the journey? Hope you achieved your aim. Yes, I did, and the journey was fine. That's good to hear. How is Rose and her husband? They are doing just fine. Hope there is no issue. There is no issue, Dad. So, Susan, you need to come back home. You have stayed too long over there. You need to come back so you will allow Rose and her husband to enjoy their marriage. All right, Dad. I'll be coming back in a few days' time. That would be fine. Take good care of yourself. And my regards to Rose and Nelson. All right, Dad. Bye. Nelson, my father just came back from his long travel. Wow. How is he? Hope he's fine. Yeah, he's fine, but there's a little problem. What problem is that? Tell me about it. My father said I should be coming back home. You know, I just came here to relax for just two weeks before going back. My father traveled along the line. That's why I stayed this long. Now that he has come back, I need to go back home. Oh no! Tell me this is not true! Very true, my dear. At least I would allow you and my sister enjoy your marriage. Susan, there is nothing to enjoy in this house. Leaving me alone in this house with Rose is just like leaving a cat and rat in the same house. There would never be peace. Nelson, I understand. But I still need to go. I can't stay here forever. If my sister or father ever finds out we have anything in common, they would never be happy with me. Are you trying to say our relationship has come to an end? That's not what I meant. We are still together. We can still be talking on phone. I will miss you, Susan. I don't know how to stay in this house without you. I will miss you too, Nils, but I can't help out now. I need to go back home. I wish to be with you together forever. Please, don't worry. All will be fine, okay? Please, I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, I would be left alone in this house. Ha! Ah! So, I'm going back to my former lonely lifestyle. Ha! Ah! The only one who is always there for me is about leaving this house. Oh, no. This house would be so boring for me. I don't think I would be able to tolerate Rose this time around. 
How I wish Susan would agree with me to relocate to another city where nobody can locate us. I'm just confused. Don't know what else to do. Mr. Rose, I want to specially thank you for accommodating me in your house. You are the best sister in the world. Thanks for housing me. Thanks for taking care of me. And thanks for always being there for me. You're welcome, Susan. You are such a wonderful sister. I couldn't ask for more. Please, when you get home, make sure you take care of daddy. Sure, I will. And make sure you take good care of yourself too. How far with Collins? I have forgotten everything about him. I can't go back to my past. So he really wants you back? Yes, but I won't give him the chance. He's married, just that he's having an issue with his wife. If I set him now, his wife might come back tomorrow. I don't just want any problem at all. That's a good decision. Human beings can be unpredictable. It might be that he's lying to you. Maybe he's just looking for another opportunity to take advantage of you. I think you have a point. Anyways, nothing will make me ever go back to him. That's good. Just keep believing in God. He will surely give you a man who will love and cherish you. Amen, no, that's all I pray for. Don't worry, God will do it. Susan, what is wrong with you? I don't just understand you these days. You have been sick ever since you came back from your sister's place. Please tell me, what is wrong with you? Daddy, I don't understand my body. I can't describe how I'm feeling right now. And you have not been eating very well these days. Have you taken any medication? No, I haven't. I'm just trying to see if the sickness will stop. How will it stop when you have not taken any medication? I think we should go to the hospital today. No, Daddy, let's still wait for some days. If the sickness does not stop, then we'll go to the hospital. That isn't a good idea. What if something bad happens to you? Anyway, I think the best thing to do now is to invite a doctor so he can take your blood sample. Then, take it to the hospital for tests. Yes, Daddy, I think this will be good. Alright, I will do just that. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Susan. How are you doing? Nelson, I'm not fine. You know, I've been sick. Sick? What's wrong with you? I am finding it difficult to eat food these days. I'm having sleepless nights and sometimes my whole body will be hot. I think they are the symptoms of malaria. I can't really say. But wait, oh, have you been vomiting? No, I have not been vomiting. Why do you ask? You know when somebody is vomiting, they will say the person is pregnant. But thank God you are not vomiting. It might just be ordinary malaria. I pray so. I don't think it's pregnancy. If I'm pregnant, I will know. Oh, thank God for that. So don't just worry yourself. Our family doctor came yesterday and took my blood samples. My dad has gone to the hospital this morning for the test results. Very soon he will be back. Please, when he comes back, call me again. Sure, I will. Susan, I can't believe what the doctor told me in the hospital. He wanted to hide the test result from me, but I persuaded him. Susan, I am so disappointed in you. You want to bring shame to this family, but I won't allow that happen. No, I won't. Not in this my house. Daddy, you have not shown me what the doctor said, and you are shouting at me. So, are you trying to say that you don't know what you did? Daddy, what did I do? Okay, since you are pretending not to know, let me tell you, Susan, you are pregnant. Me? Pregnant? No, I'm the one pregnant. So this is how you plan to live your life. I have been waiting for the day you would bring a man to this house and introduce him as the person you want to marry. But you didn't do that. All you could do is to open your legs for a man who is not your husband. Now tell me, Susan, who is responsible for the pregnancy? Daddy, I can't still believe this, who? Oh, you can't believe it. You got pregnant by accident, Okwaya? No, answer me. If you have not been sleeping around, there is no way you could get pregnant. Or, are you trying to tell me that you have many boyfriends and you don't know who is responsible for the pregnancy? That is not what you think. I just need time to fix this up. 
I believe something is wrong somewhere. Susan, nothing is wrong anywhere. The only thing wrong here is that you don't know who is responsible for the pregnancy. Now I'm giving you three days, three days to tell me who is responsible for the pregnancy because you can't give birth to a bastard in this house. The father of that baby in your womb must marry you before delivery. I'm giving you just three days, three days to tell me what I need to know or else you will see the other side of me. I didn't sleep with any man apart from Nelson. Ha! So I'm pregnant for Nelson. Hey, okay, Tabo. My father would kill me if he ever finds out. What will I do now? Should I go back to college then force him to sleep with me after that? I will say he's responsible for the pregnancy. Or should I tell my father Nelson is responsible for it? No, my father will kill me. Oh, I am dead. My father really warned me about this, but it wasn't my fault because I never planned for it. I never plan to be sleeping with my sister's husband. Oh, the terrible mistake. Nelson, there is fire in the mountain. You know. What's the problem? Nelson, I'm pregnant too. Pregnant? Ah! I said it. I knew those symptoms are not just symptoms of malaria. You caused all this. See what you have landed me into. Susan, don't say a thing like that. I am not the problem and you are not the problem. The person that caused all this is Rose. How is she the problem? Is she the one that impregnated me? I know she's not the one, but she gave room for this. How would she travel and leave just me and you alone in the house? Please count my sister out of this. The issue on ground is how we are going to do about this. My father gave me three days to tell him who is responsible for the pregnancy. And are you planning to tell him? I don't know what to tell him, though I was thinking to tell him Collins is responsible. But that will create another bigger problem because he will persuade me to invite Collins over to my house. And you know Collins is not responsible for this. This is a serious matter. I am thinking of visiting Collins so he can sleep with me and I would say he is responsible. But you said your father gave you just three days to tell him the truth. Collins will never accept the pregnancy if you call him back after three days. Please don't do that. It will worsen the whole issue. So what do you suggest I do now? Just give me some time to think about it. I will come up with a solution. I promise. Please do whatever you want to do for now. See the next three days. I don't want to have any issues with my dad. Don't worry, Susan. I will come up with a solution. <laughs> This is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. How will Rose feel when she hears about this? I don't think she would ever forgive me. Ah! Why did Susan come to visit us? What even made me to get attracted to her? Ha! Ah, but Rose caused all this. Had it been she has been treating me right, there is no way Susan would have attracted me to the point of sleeping with her. I would advise Susan to go back to Collins and she can't abort the baby because the father is already away. I just have to face my evil deeds. It wasn't my fault, but I allowed it. If Susan's dad wants to kill me, he can go ahead and do so. I can't run away from my sin. Hmm, the world has brought nothing to me, but sorrow, I am ready to face my sorrow. Hello, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Daddy. And you? All is not well, my dear. What's the problem, Dad? Hmm. Is Susan your sister? Oh. What happened to her? She has decided to bring shame to this family. Daddy, I don't understand. Please explain to me. What did she do? My dear, Susan, your sister has decided to disgrace herself publicly. Could you believe that Susan is pregnant? Pregnant? You mean my own sister, Susan, is pregnant? Yes, she is pregnant. Wonder shall never end. Is it not the same Suzanne that left my house some days ago? How did she get pregnant? She started feeling weak these days. She started selecting food and sometimes 
She won't even eat food. She hardly sleep at night. I just noticed all these this few days ago. So I invited a doctor who took a blood sample and confirmed to me that Susan is pregnant. What? And who did she say is responsible for the pregnancy? She has not told me the person. I have given her three days to tell me. Please do everything within your power to make sure she says the truth. Don't worry, my dear. By the time I am done with her, she won't have any other option than to say the truth. Hmm. Who could be responsible for this pregnancy? Does it mean Suzanne has been sleeping around all this while she was here? No. Suzanne doesn't sleep around. I know the kind of sister I have. She doesn't have time for nonsense. Maybe Collins is responsible for the pregnancy. Hmm. But she told me she would never have anything to do with Collins. If not Collins, then who? Because I know she doesn't have anybody in her life. Could it be that she was raped? God forbid, I reject it for her. Anyway, I will be waiting for a feedback from my dad. No matter how she tries to hide the truth, one day the truth must surely come out. Susan, are you ready to say the truth now? Daddy, I told you something is wrong somewhere. Please give me more time. Give you more time? Are you cooking lies to tell me? Or are you planning to run away from the house? This thing is very simple and easy. Just tell me who is responsible for the pregnancy. You don't have anything again to worry about. I will just invite the person to pay your bride price and marry you. I am well to do. I can sponsor the marriage ceremony. I wouldn't want your stomach to shoot out while you are still in this house. Just tell me who the person is and you are free. And I promise to tell you, just give me some time. I will invite your sister Rose to this house. Once she comes, if you still refuse to speak, you will just pack your things and follow her. I'm just giving you the last chance to do the needful before things get out of hand. Wait, I don't understand what you just said now. Please, can you say that again? Susan is pregnant for me. No, this can't be true. What an abomination. Nelson, tell me this is a lie. Why will I come up with such a thing? What I told you is nothing but the truth. Ha! This is a bad news. Nelson, why did you do such a thing? Charles, you know the condition my wife put me into. Yes, I know, but you have no excuse for doing this. There are many ladies out there. Even if you have to impregnate someone, it shouldn't be your wife's sister. Please, I know I have done the wrong thing, but I won't just fold my hands and watch. What do you think I should do right now? Have you told your wife? What? You expect me to tell my wife? Why not? You have to tell her because she's the one you cheated on. Charles, I can't tell my wife. I believe there are other possible solutions apart from telling my wife. You can't just hide it from your wife. She will kill me. I can't get to tell her. Should I help you? No, man. I'm not ready for her trouble. I can't just stand it. Nelson, you better act fast. So apart from telling my wife, don't you know any other thing I can do to get myself out of this mess? I don't know what else to tell you. I don't want God to be angry with me. You know the right thing to do. Please do it. What? Oh my god! Did I hear you say Nelson is responsible for the pregnancy? You must be joking. Which Nelson is responsible for the pregnancy? My own Nelson or who? So you went to your sister's house to snatch her husband? Susan, you are a public disgrace. Ha! This is an abomination. I never knew you could be so irresponsible and foolish to this extent. So, Susan. You came to my house to take away my husband from me. So I made a mistake by allowing you to stay in my house. Oh, Suzanne, 
You are wicked. How could you? You didn't consider the fact that Nelson is your sister's husband. You don't even have fear. I can't allow this to happen. I must arrest Nelson. In fact, he will spend the rest of his life in prison. I will make sure he goes to prison and he will stay there and die. Nobody, I mean, nobody can bail him. I need to get him arrested right now before he escape. Nelson, so you are this weak. You couldn't control that thing in between your legs. How could you? Did I offend you by allowing you to marry my daughter? So Nelson, you decided to punish me with this. Nelson, I provided you with everything you need. I am paying you salary on daily basis. Nelson, you lack nothing in this house. Then why can't you allow my junior sister to be? I'm really sorry for the infidelity. Please, I plead for forgiveness. Nelson. There is no forgiveness in this matter. I will make sure you spend the rest of your life in prison. You will be a forgotten issue. Nobody will hear about you again. Sir, please. I have a little confession to make. I'm not trying to justify my actions here, but I want to say the truth. Rose is the cause of what happened between me and Susan. How dare you vomit that rubbish from your mouth? How am I the cause? Sir, I can't remember the last time I had fun with my wife. Each time I want to touch her, she will shout at me. She doesn't even allow me to come close to her. We don't sleep in the same room and bed as husband and wife. She took me as a houseboy. She doesn't have my time. Rose didn't allow me to be working. I can't remember the last time we laughed together or cracked jokes as husband and wife. It's everyday quarreling from one issue to another. Then, why didn't you come to me to report or complain? Have you ever for one day called me on phone to report Rose? So you think the best way to satisfy yourself is by taking advantage of my second daughter, Susan. Nelson, at this point, your excuses are irrelevant because you failed to do the needful and I can't take that from you. You must face the consequences. Nelson, I don't blame you. I blame myself for accepting to marry you in the first place. How I wish I can take laws into my hand by now. You won't be alive saying this jargon. Don't worry, Rose. I will make sure he regrets his action. Hmm. Life is not just fair to me. Why me? Had I know comes at last. So this is how I'm going to end my life. Oh, I never knew it would result to this. If I had known... I wouldn't have touched Susan. If I make it out of this place alive, I won't look at any lady's face. I will just be on my own. If I allow this child in my stomach, I will live to regret it tomorrow. Since Nelson has been arrested, I'm not even sure I will set my eyes on him again. There is no need carrying his child. I need to get rid of this pregnancy before it be too late for me. Giving birth to this child will never bring peace to my family and to my future family. A husband might reject me because I already have a child. No, I won't allow that to happen. I must support the baby as soon as possible. <laughs> Rose, what is wrong with you? Why the sudden sickness? Is it because of what happened between Nelson and Susan? No, Daddy. It's far from that. I have been diagnosed of cancer. I was told that the cancer has eaten me up for a very long time, but I didn't notice. Though I have been having some symptoms in my body, but I didn't give it much attention. Ah, you should have told me about these things. I didn't notice it in time. So what do you plan to do now? I will be going to the hospital tomorrow, and I will be needing someone to stay with me in the hospital. This is serious. Anyways, 
I will tell your sister Susan to come stay with you in the hospital. Please, I want you to have faith in God. Nothing will happen to you. You know cancer is a terrible sickness. I just pray I survive it. Don't worry, my dear. You will survive it. <laughs> Susan, your sister is terribly sick at home right now. She will be going to the hospital tomorrow. Terrible sickness. Why? How? When? She's diagnosed of cancer. Eh? Cancer? When did that one start? I can't really tell. There is a little problem right now. What problem? She needs someone that will stay with her in the hospital until she recovers. So, I'm suggesting you go and stay with her. You know she's your only sister. What about my work? Going to stay with her in the hospital will end my work. Is it not better to lose your work than allowing your sister to die? Daddy, she won't die. And I can't lose my work because she's in the hospital. Let's look for another alternative. So what other alternative do you have? I think you should request for Nelson to be released from the prison. Then he can go and take care of his wife in the hospital. What nonsense are you talking about? I should release Nelson from the prison. You are not serious. Daddy, that's the best thing to do. Nelson is in the best position to take care of her and stay with her in the hospital. I don't think Rose will be happy seeing Nelson taking care of her in the hospital. Daddy, she just has to accept it like that because I can't just lose my work when Nelson is available. Okay, I will think about it. Thank you very much, sir. I am very happy for this show of kindness. I promise never to disappoint you again. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. I don't have any charge against you, but your release from the prison calls for an urgent need. Your wife Rose is currently in the hospital right now. Hospital? Why? Yes, she is diagnosed of cancer. She is receiving treatment right now, but she needs someone to stay with her in the hospital. So when I told Susan about it, she said you are the right person to stay with her. Oh, so sorry about everything. I believe I am the cause of her illness. I don't think so. This is cancer. You are not the cause. God, please, don't allow anything to happen to Rose. Don't worry. She will be fine. You just need to stay with her in the hospital. Rose, all the while I was with you, you never told me that you are sick. Oh my God. First of all, I want to sincerely apologize for cheating on you with Susan. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive. Please, I don't want anything to happen to you. I still love you as my wife. I pray you recover from this terrible sickness. Nothing will happen to you. I decree life into you. Ah, why me? God, why did you allow this to happen to me? So my daughter Rose is dead. Ha! No, this can't be true. Someone wake me up from this dream. Rose, please wake up. Don't do this to us. We still love you. Rose, please wake up. Your daddy is here. Ah, wake up, wake up. You can't die now. Rose, please wake up. Don't do this to us. Please wake up. Ha! Life is too short. If anyone had told Rose that she would die this soon, she won't believe it. No, sir. She's not dead. She can't just die like that. No, 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 no. Wake up. Wake up. There is always a solution to every problem in life. The only thing that doesn't have solution is death. And we don't have power to give life to anyone. I believe God knows the best. Since Rose has decided to leave us, there is nothing we can do. We will just make plans and give her a befitting burial. Her death is still a shock to me. I can't still believe my auntie is gone forever. 
Sometimes I wonder what life is all about. Vanity upon vanity. We struggle every day to live a better life. To marry, to build house, buy cars, give beds. And one day, we will just die and leave everything. That's life for you. No man will live forever on earth. Life is like a market. We all came to buy and sell. And after that, we will return to our maker. Anyways, I want us to bury her as soon as possible. We just have to bear it. God bring it and take it. So, I want us to start making arrangements on how to bury her. Nelson, you will be going to her company to tell them about her death. But before that, we need to fix a date for the burial. So you can inform them as well when you get there. So sorry for everything, bro. So, how was the burial? The burial was successful. We just did a small burial for her. We didn't do it in a big way. Ah, take heart, bro. God knows the best. It is well. Yeah. This life is not just balanced. I never knew this would happen to me at this time. The devil is just using my life to play gambling. Don't say so. God still have better plans for you. So in everything, Give thanks to God. Devil don't have power over you. If God didn't permit that, Rose will still be alive. I wish I had superpower to give life. Oh, Rose, my wife. I know how you feel right now, but just take heart. Remember, Rose has not been a good wife when she was alive. I know, but that won't make me to wish her death. Neither did I wish her death. I'm trying to say you should bear it. God knows the best. This is six months since we lost Rose. She will forever remain in our hearts. But life goes on. We need to move forward. I think we need to plan on how to get married. How will people see it? When we say I killed my sister to take you over her husband. We all know about cancer. So nobody will accuse you of killing your sister. Don't allow any form of negative thoughts to occupy your heart. So what about my daddy? Do you think you allow us to get married? Why won't he agree? If not that you aborted that baby, by now we would have a baby. I don't see any reason why he would say no. I know my dad too well. You don't need to conclude yet. You have to meet him first. Or don't you love me again? Why not? I still love you and I just wish my dad would allow us to get married. I will be the happiest person on earth if that happens. It will happen, dear. Just go and tell him. So when do you want us to get married? At least. In two months' time, we should have gotten married. I trust you. You don't waste time at all. That's because I love you. I love you too, dear. How would you say such a thing? You want to marry your late sister's husband? How does it sound in your ear? I don't want to hear that from you. Daddy, please, you need to agree. I don't see anything wrong in this. Now, tell me, what is wrong in marrying Nelson? You can't marry him because he's your late sister's husband. People will begin to see it like you killed your sister. Don't you have conscience? Daddy, let people say whatever they want to say. And I know that I didn't kill Sister Rose. So anybody who wants to think otherwise should go ahead. What people think shouldn't bother you at all. You should be concerned about my happiness in life. For sure. I am so much concerned about your happiness. Then allow me marry Nelson. Or would you want to hear that I am pregnant for him again? Don't you think it's better I marry him than to become pregnant for him again without marrying him? Anyway, you have points there. It's like the both of you has planned everything down. But this is life. Anything is possible. All I'm asking is your support. Anyway... Your happiness in life is my concern. If marrying Nelson will make you happy, then go ahead. You have my full support. Wow. Thank you, Daddy. You're the best daddy in the whole world. Thank you for your support. You are welcome, my dear. You can go on to plan for the marriage ceremony. So we 
were getting married. I will never believe this will be possible. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me. So we will live under the same roof as husband and wife. Oh, how I wish you didn't abort that baby. By now, our baby will be here with us. Don't worry, dear. I'll give it another baby for you. My happiness is I'm getting married to the love of my life. I am so happy too. I love you so much, Susan. I love you and always will love you. Oh, 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 oh